Hey, buenos dias, que onda, que pasó, you guys, John's Motor Garage. Welcome back to the channel. Today, I want to bring you a review on these Torque Motorcycle Co. saddlebags. Torque Motorcycle Co. sent these out to me probably like nine months ago, and I've been running them ever since, on and off. Been trying them out, so here's a real-world review. I'm not going to go over all the different specs and details. All of that can be found online. I'm just going to tell you my experience with these saddlebags. Do I recommend them or not? In full transparency, I'm not being paid for this review, but like I said, they did send those to me for free. So saddlebags on a motorcycle. Generally speaking, I'm not a big fan of saddlebags unless I've got like a bag or maybe an adventure bike. I like the look of the bike stripped down without saddlebags. But when it comes to saddlebags, most people get them either for style reasons or because they serve a purpose for practical reasons. I've had Defender Deviant Fabrication bags on a Dyna before. Those are not easy to install. They're not easy on and off and there's other bags you can get out there as well. So the thing I love about these bags is they're easy on off, basically as easy as it is to take that seat off. You can take the saddlebags off. You're not gonna have any hardware or brackets, nothing remaining afterwards. So no sign that you had saddlebags on the motorcycle. That's probably the number one thing I dig about them. Second thing I love about them is they're very, very simple, basic design, nothing too crazy, very uh, straightforward. You've got this pocket on the top, zipper is super nice it doesn't get caught on anything and then you got a nice pocket on the inside as well they have a weatherproof option this one's not weather or waterproof but i haven't had any issues with it you can probably fit i don't know how many beer cans in there or whatever it is that you carry in your saddlebags for me usually it comes down to a water bottle because it's so freaking hot in arizona oh where'd my water bottle go oh whew. close call bro thought somebody stole my water bottle so yeah i'll usually just throw a water bottle in here bam fits perfect like so and then you're good to go or if you're running to the grocery store or anything like that so yeah honestly i don't really have any complaints at all about the bags easy on easy off super basic nice just blacked out design and there's no extra hardware or anything like that they are adjustable as well obviously you have to have a back seat so if you run in a solo seat these bags aren't going to be an option and i think those are really the big things Other comparable bags out there, really, I think Thrash and Supply is the only one that has other bags like this. Obviously, Thrash and Supply is, you know, they're the OG, they're first ones that came out with this style bag. And I haven't ridden or used theirs. I have seen them in person and they are nice bags. So that's going to come down to personal preference. I think these are going to set you back in the 260 to 275 range, if I'm not mistaken. One thing I will point out, when I first was running these bags, I had it a little bit more loose here with more slack and I didn't have any issues until one day I put a battery in here and I didn't realize but because of the extra slack it was rubbing the saddlebag against the tire because of that extra that extra weight and I didn't have it balanced out so what I ended up doing is well two things one I tightened it up here so I don't have the extra slack and then two if I'm ever going to have something super heavy either balance it out or I put it on this side because for some reason on this side it doesn't doesn't have the same issue like there's no way it's going to be sliding on, on that side so maybe it's because my tire is off or something i don't know maybe the fender's bent but that was the only issue and that was more uh, user error i mean nine months in i actually really enjoy having these for this bike because when i don't want to grab a backpack i just throw them on it's easy to get them on and off and we're good to go i think it's a great option a lot of people ask and i'd say if you dig the style and it fits your needs then definitely do it you know 260 bucks once you buy them, you have them, and I don't see them wearing out anytime soon. Quality seems to be there. I don't notice any stitching coming undone, nothing at all uh, of that sort. So, so yeah, all in all, I dig the bags. Shout out to Torque Motorcycle Co. Thank you for sending those out, you guys. I appreciate it. I do dig them. I don't know if my code still works, but John15 at one point was giving you some type of discount. I have no idea how much. You can hit me on Instagram at John's Motor Garage. Check out Torque Motorcycle Co. on Instagram as well. I'll put their link below. They've got tons of stuff. I think they have shoes now. They have apparel. They have vests. They have all kinds of stuff for uh, motorcycle riders. So if you dig that style, definitely hit them up. Tell them JMG sent you. That's going to do it, you guys. John's Motor Garage. Like and subscribe if you dig it. Appreciate the support. We'll catch you next time. Adios. Hasta luego. Nos vemos. How's it going? What's that? You all right? Oh, I'm good, yeah. I'm just doing a video. Oh. I do a little YouTube on the side, so... Gotcha. I'm just doing a review on my saddlebags, that's all. Uh, well, but, yeah, thank you for checking, man. I appreciate it. Anyway, ride safe. We'll Thanks, brother. Time, uh, Have a good one.